Hey guys, today I'm going to share with you something really spectacular. Something that um, I, I'm sure my son is going to love it. Uh, he's a big reading freak now. Uh, we have gone so crazy for reading that whether we are standing at the airport or we are at a bus stop or we are traveling, if he sees any hoarding, if he sees any kind of notice, anything, he starts reading there. So uh, it, the reading is like our big thing right now. So everything that he wants to do uh, is like all about words, connecting words, joining words, new words, difficult words. So what I've done is for our literacy section, I have made these very nice sheets for Vivan. They're like six of them that I've just created and they're complete hands-on. They're like so simple that you might just take 15 minutes to create it for your child. Uh, if they are not in the learning mode right now, it can be a great phonics activity. I mean, it can be converted into a phonics activity or a great uh, one word, one word activity like an umbrella or a hat or a fish. And then the same sheets can be used later on for reading activity. So the one which you can see right now is the first sheet that I've made. And uh, this is all about different objects here. I have created uh, six different themes. So uh, as you can see what I've done, I have taken a simple sheet, a colored sheet, and I have uh, put various stickers on the sheet. And these are just uh, the extra, these are the stickers that Vivan has to uh, put them once he identifies. So they are going to be here in the corner. So you can see there are all these different pictures. So if I, as I suggested, if your child is still in uh, not the reading mode, you can, he can just identify the objects with umbrella or a hat. They can be used for color, for counting objects, and as well as uh, your phonics activity. So you can like say it's this uh, violin starts with v, v, and then you can give the alphabets and they can put the alphabet here. So the same thing and what I've done, I have extended it here. So I'm going to place uh, all these stickers in order here so that it's easy for him to see. And then he needs to read one by one. So this says three eggs in the nest. So he needs to read this and then he needs to find three eggs in the nest. It's here. He's going to place it here. So uh, I'm sure he's going to get stuck somewhere. So that's why I've put them on a sticker sheet. So once he's ready and he's like pro with it, he can remove the sticker and just place it here. But in the meanwhile, he can just, just simply place it here. Then you have tie my laces, please. Uh, tie my laces. Uh, I think that's a shoe and the laces are open. So maybe this is what it is. Tie my laces, please. Okay, so the other one is protects me from rain and sun. What protects me from rain and sun? Umbrella. So... It's not direct at the same time. It also involves a little brain teaser here because what protects you from sun and rain? It can be an umbrella, that's something here. So like this, that is one which is all object. Then the second one that I've made is all about uh, space and all the cutouts are kept here next to it. And uh, it's the same thing like I explained in the previous one, he has to do the same thing. The next one is all about uh, king, queen and castle and their cutouts are right here. So I have um, like eight different pictures and then it says the green dragon, the old king, spectacular castle, the young warrior, a uh, beautiful princess. So here we are reading and learning new words and we will be able to read them and then place them to the right picture. Then we have the forest theme here. We have all different animals here and their cutouts are right, right, right here. Going forward, we have our candy and uh, dessert section and the cutouts are right here. And the last one is the robo section. <laughs> I think all boys are like robo freaks. So what I did, I just got these stickers from somewhere and these are all from my uh, already in stock sticker books that I have that I keep using in all my activities. I have just used them one more time and I've created this activity. I hope you guys like this activity. Do try it with your kids and do let me know if you want to see some more stuff like this. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. See ya.